My name is Dean Fisher and I'm the director of the Donated Body Program at UCLA uh, David Geffen School of Medicine. We're currently sitting in the alkaline hydrolysis room located in the Center of Health Sciences on the UCLA campus. I'm going to walk you through the process here real quick. So we bring the bodies down from the seventh floor and we place them onto this tray here. The tray, one person can easily handle the tray. The tray pulls out, we slide the body in, we wrap them in bioplastic. So the body is completely naked along with bioplastic. Then we slide the body into the machine here. And then as you can see here, there's a spray bar that's right here that actually places water into the machine and this is all done automatically. So what we're doing is we're actually taking the natural process of decomposition and we're speeding that up. And what happens is that it dissolves the body over the course of about a three to four hour time frame and then the fluid goes over to the accumulation tank and then the bone and any of the prosthetics that are left over are on the tray when we open up the unit. And if you look here, you can see we have a drawer that's absolutely full of prosthetics over the course of time. You can see pa everything from pacemakers to little tiny stents that, are, that you can see during this process. The other thing that makes us unique from flame cremation is all of the different polys that are here. These would all be burned up and this would create more CO2 gas. This is actually methyl methacrylate known as bone cement. And this also would never be seen in a crematory because it would be gone. You see hernia mesh here. And then you can also see all of the different teeth that we can take out afterwards. We allow our bone to dry just at room temperature so we don't create any of a bigger carbon footprint. It takes about four to five days for the bones to dry here. And then they're processed in a standard cremulator that, that every crematory has in the world. But we just place the bone into the bottom of here. You can see the larger femurs. Here I actually found a little suture in this person yet. So this allows us to make sure that all of the suture and all of the mercury and everything has been removed out of the person. Just place the cover on here like so. Ground up ash actually looks just like this when it's all done. So it's, it's fine white, pure white calcium phosphate is what we're looking at. This by far is the most uh, environmentally friendly choice out of all the choices that are out there. And someday I just want everybody to know I'm going to donate my body to science so that I can end up this way also. How's that for an ending? <laughs>